Hey guys, welcome back to Brittany's Little Life. I'm Brittany. So today we are in my car. <laughs> um, I have a thrift haul for you guys today. I went to Goodwill and I got some stuff. I did go to Marshalls but, and Ross, but I didn't really find much. I got one thing at Marshalls. Um, but other than that, I got most of my stuff at Goodwill. So I'm just going to show you guys the stuff I got at Marshalls right now because I just want to get that out of the way. And I'm sorry if I look like a slot mess today, but it's lazy day for mama and well kind of and uh that with Cameron all day so yeah at Marshall's I got Cameron this cute little Thomas the train set it has Thomas and the other trains I'm not sure what their names are um it doesn't say it just says Tom and Thomas and Friends tank engine. Oh, it says includes James and Percy. So it's Thomas, James, and Percy, and it's a Fisher Price item. I got this for $2.99 at Marshall's. And then I don't know why they give me a bag if I bought a reusable one, but I bought a reusable bag and I just love it. Look how cute it is. It says find your balance and then it just says Marshalls on the side I love collecting these big ones because they're so much like easier to use and they're only 99 cents at um, Marshalls they have them at home goods and they have them at I think they have them at boss I'm not a hundred percent I don't remember but I know they have them at home goods I think TJ Maxx has them I'm not 100% there too, but I know Marshall has them and they're only 99 cents, so they're they're a good good deal We're gonna start with the home decor that I, I found at Goodwill. I only got two things home decor related um, I've said in my previous Dollar Tree haul that I am going to be decorating my backyard so I thought why not add this to that? Uh, or I might put it in my bathroom since I'm doing the beach theme. I'm not 100% sure what I should do. Um, let me know in the comments what you think, where you think I should put it. If I should put it in my backyard or if I should put it in my bathroom. So what it is, is it says, it says kick off your flip flops. And it has a lifesaver float and flip flops on it. And little footprints. It's just a little sign. It's so cute. It says that it was originally $7.99, but I got it for $2 at Goodwill. I thought it was just adorable. I couldn't pass it up. And then the next thing I got, which is going to go with all the home decor that I'm putting in my house, this is actually from TJ Maxx. Um, the price at TJ Maxx was, was $12.99. For, for this and it says to live is the rarest thing in the world um, I just liked the way it looked um, I don't really honestly don't really care for the saying I just think it looks really cute and it was only five dollars at um, Goodwill and it was originally twelve it says 99 under that, but it was originally $12.99 at TJ Maxx. Next things I got are all clothing items for Cameron. I just found a bunch of clothes that there and I was just like, you know what? Kids grow fast, you know? So you gotta get a deal while you can, you know? So, all right, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. So this is from this is a uh, jumping beans I want to say this is I don't know if this is Walmart or Target that has this brand but it's just a little gray shirt and it has little buttons right here it's plain gray all of their t-shirts for kids were two dollars and all of their pants slash shorts for kids were two dollars they just had like um, a standard price for everything they didn't have like prices on this um, I don't 
No, no, no. They did have their yellow tag sale going on, but I didn't get any yellow tag stuff. So I got this gray shirt for him. I got this gray shirt for him. It has a little pocket right here. And this is Circo. I think this is, if I'm not mistaken, the Circo brand is either at Walmart or Dollar General or Family Dollar, one of them. I think one of those have this, but it's, it feels really nice and it's really soft and it's just a plain gray shirt. I like having some plain solid color shirts for him. Um, another thing I found were these Children's Place um, sweatpants. They're just plain gray sweatpants, nothing fancy. They look really nice and brand new. They are uh, 3T, but I'm putting away winter clothes for him right now and collecting them. It actually smells like laundry still. That, sorry, that was weird. I just like got a whiff of it when I was <laughs> flopping it around. Uh, I'm collecting winter clothes for him too, just so I have some of them if I get like a good deal on them. Like I'm not going to go out and buy winter clothes, but you know, usually buying off season is like the way to go because then you get the best deals. So, uh, yeah, I found these. They feel so super, super comfy too. Another thing I found, these are also, these are Oshkosh. There are the ones that look like they have like the sweatpants on the inside and then they're just like, um, I want to say like a khaki type, but they're like an orange color. Uh, I don't know, they're like a reddish orange color. I just thought these were good solid color pants that could go with maybe one of these gray shirts or something. Um, next. Next thing I found was this cute little Nike shirt that says Born to be Bold and it's just a little Muscle Man shirt. It looks brand new. Nothing is like, um, what's the word? Like peeling. Not even the tag. The tag isn't peeling. These aren't peeling. It looks really nice and it's super soft. These were only, this was only $2. I'm sure it cost a lot more brand new. Next thing I got were these Carter's shorts. They're almost like a, I don't even know how to explain this material, but I know I've had these kind of shorts for him before. They're kind of like a softer khaki almost, but I found these because they're adorable. Look how cute they are. They have like the um, anchors and then the ship wheel and the little knot on them. I thought they were just like perfect for summer and they're tan so they'll go with any like solid color shirt or something that's sea or fish related and I think I have something that he could wear with these actually. Next thing I got were these, these are children's place as well. These are just little gray shorts. They're a little bit wrinkly but I mean that doesn't really matter. I could just wash them and they'll be fine. And then they have like the white stripes down the side in their children's place. I just, these were $2. Like I said, all the shorts and all the shirts were $2. These are Carter's and these are the same material as the tan ones with the um, anchors and the ship wheel on it. But these ones have like little baseballs and like the baseball bats on them. And they're Carter's 2T. They're so cute. They're like a um, like a salmon pink kind of color. On here, they look, on the camera they look a little red though, but they're like they're like a salmon color. The last thing I got were these shorts, which are Cat and Jack. They're a size 5. I got these for my nephew actually because I just couldn't pass them up. They're just so stinking cute. They have like these little like specks on them. I don't know. They're just adorable. And I figured my, he, my brother would appreciate them because he, he likes stuff that looks kind of like this. And they were only $2 and I'm 
sh I'm 100 percent sure Cat and Jack is not expensive, but if they're like a little bit pricey for me anyway. Um, they also have, which is good because my nephew is like like super skinny. They have the adjustable little like thing in them, so just in case like they don't fit properly, he can adjust that to his size. And they have the little pockets in the back. All right, well, that concludes my thrift haul. I do plan on going um, to other thrift stores, like actually like little thrift stores, not like anything such as like um, Goodwill or Marshalls or Ross or anything like that. But um, the reason why I just went there is because I actually wanted to just go there and ask them because I have stuff I want to get, I want to like donate towards them. And I wanted to ask them questions. So that's why I went there and I was just kind of, I haven't been to that Goodwill in forever. So I was like, let me just go. But I do have a couple thrift stores that are like little um, mom and pop type thrift places. And I want to go hit up those places and see how, um, if they got any good stuff. So you'll probably see another thrift haul from me pretty soon. All right, well, that concludes my video. I hope you guys liked what I found and let me know what you think about these thrifting videos and if you want to see any more of them. Um, I might try to find some stuff at the thrift store that I can DIY and turn into something else. Maybe that would be something you guys like. Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I'll be back with more videos. Bye guys.